everybody. Welcome to Healthy Tween Cuisine. I'm Savannah and today I'm going to show you how to make a healthy, easy meal that tastes great. Today what we'll be making is the all-American favorite, burgers and fries, but with a healthy twist. So, I will show you how to do that without sacrificing any taste. The first thing we're going to start with is the oven fries. So what you'll need is about six to seven red potatoes, depending on the size, some olive oil, salt, some seasoning salt for extra flavor, and a knife. And be sure you have a parent or guardian around before you begin cutting. The first thing you want to do is heat your oven to 450 degrees. Now our oven isn't quite there yet, but that's okay. So now, I have my cookie sheet in the oven heating up so that way it helps the potatoes not to stick to the bottom of your pan. So the first thing you want to do before you start preparing any food is wash your hands. And you want to wash them for about 20 seconds or if you want an easier way to remember, just sing the happy birthday song twice. So now we're going to start cutting our potatoes. And essentially you want to get about eight pieces out of, your, out of each potato. So you start cutting it in half. Then you cut that into quarters. And you cut each quarter in half. Just like this. So you'll have pieces about half an inch in thickness. So now that we've finished cutting all of our potatoes, we're going to start adding the seasoning. So first, you want to take your extra virgin olive oil, and we're just going to eyeball it, but somewhere between three to four tablespoons, but, you know, just kind of drizzle it over, just like that. Then we're going to add, I'd say, like, a teaspoon and a half of seasoning salt. And be pretty generous on your seasoning because I personally like my stuff pretty well seasoned. And finally, just your regular old kosher salt. And you might take a big pinch of that, maybe two. Okay. And now just get in there with your hands and start mixing it just like that. And if you find you need to add more seasoning, you can do that. Just be sure to wipe your hands. Now that our oven has reached 450 degrees, I'm going to take the pan out under the supervision of my mom. I'm going to take this out. Woo! Hot oven. Woo. And if you're allowed to take the pan out by yourself, be sure you wear oven mitts, but you also want to make sure that you do ask your parents. So now we're going to put the potatoes onto the hot pan. Now the easiest way to do this is to just start over here and just gently pour your potatoes onto the pan. And now you want to get out a utensil, such as a wooden spoon, and just spread out the potatoes. You want each potato to be touching part of the metal, so that way it can get nice and crispy. And like I said earlier, the reason we put the pan in the oven beforehand was because it helps the potatoes not to stick to the bottom of the pan once you put them on. So now we're going to put the potatoes back in the oven. Make sure you have your mitts on. Okay. And you want to put your potatoes on the lowest rack in your oven. Okay. So now we're going to cook them for about 25 minutes. And then once that's up, we'll flip them and cook them for another 25 to give them a cooking time of about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how crispy you like your potatoes.